Good morning, my Live, Build, Change family. It is great to be with you again. It's July 1st. Can you believe that? We're more than halfway through another year, and God is being so faithful. Hey, I wonder if you would do a quick favor for me. I guess you could call it a favor. If you are receiving benefit from these morning mindset editions of the Live, Build, Change podcast, would you stop for a moment right now and think of someone you know who would benefit as well? And if you're listening on Facebook, share it with them really quickly. If you're listening on a podcast player or app, there's some kind of sharing function there you can use to share the morning mindsets with someone you know. I believe God could use you to encourage and build someone else up through these morning mindsets. So I want to dive into John chapter 14 here at the beginning of the month. It is a very loved chapter by many believers in Christ because it's one of those chapters that is so full of emotion and is particularly powerful to me because it's Jesus who's speaking. It's hearing from the words of the source of life himself. And so we're going to begin just at the top of chapter 14, verse number one. And we really don't have a lot of time to get very far into this because it begins with such powerful truth right off the bat. Jesus says, let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. Do you realize the commanding nature of what Jesus said there? Let not your hearts be troubled. He's saying that as if we have a choice in the matter. You know, oftentimes we get caught up in our circumstance. We get caught up in the rush of emotion that comes when something difficult or hard or even tragic happens in our lives. And that's very natural. Our emotions are made to be responders. They're made to react to things. And God's designed us that way. But because we're fallen, we're sin-tainted, so to speak, our emotions don't always function in the most helpful ways. And that emotional overwhelm that can come over us when a negative or difficult situation arises can oftentimes lead us down a path that is not healthy and is not honoring to Christ and does not enable us to live the kind of life that demonstrates his presence and his power in the human condition. And these words that Jesus says are so powerful. Stop and listen to them again. Let not your hearts be troubled. If you find your heart troubled, I'm not in any way wanting to belittle the circumstance you're under or you're in. There are circumstances that can be very, very debilitating. I've been there myself. Very difficult things happen in life. Nevertheless, Jesus says things like, let not your hearts be troubled. But he doesn't say it in a vacuum. It's not this, don't worry, be happy kind of a response. He's got a foundation underneath it. And the foundation is this. It's the next phrase. Believe in God. Believe also in me. Now that believing that he's talking about is what I believe is the underpinnings of our soul. Belief is what drives thought. And thought is what drives feeling. And feeling is what drives action. And he's saying, believe in God, not just in an intellectual sense where you believe he exists, but believe in him for who he really is. So if you read the scripture, you understand he's a God of mercy. He's a God of compassion. He's a God of deep love. And he's a God of overwhelming justice. He is the perfection of everything we would think of a person being. It's all wrapped up in him. And he says, believe also in me. In me, Jesus. Believe. Believe. You see, our belief in who God is and what that means for us as his children is what enables us to not let our hearts be troubled. So whatever you're facing today, I want to encourage you. I'm going to prompt you toward understanding and remembering that your God is on the throne and he is for you in whatever you face today. Let not your heart be troubled. Make that decision today to trust him, to trust in his goodness. And let's talk more about this on tomorrow's edition of The Morning Mindset.